Hello everyone, I'm Brian, and today I'm going to be doing a trailer reaction to Three Idiots. This is a request, I do request, if you have a request, just leave it in the comments below, please leave a link to it, and ma please make sure it's sub or dub so I can follow along, otherwise I'm going to be completely lost and don't know what's going on. Alright, so I don't know anything about this, I think this is the right poster for it. It says, for these college, uh, for these guys, college is a no-brainer. Three Idiots. There's actually another one where they have it, where they were, it looks like they were sitting down on a toilet. Well sit down on a chair that looks like it's squatting to sit on a toilet or a hole to release but all right let's get started let's give it a shot ma chapra films life this that's uh, pretty decently true. I'm to college for degree for degree. If you have degree, you have to have a degree. If you don't have a degree, you don't have a father to give your daughter. You don't have a credit card. Holy Jesus, man, that's a lot of things. I didn't have a degree for college. I just wanted to learn. Harancho. Harancho Das, Shamal Das, Chanchar. The name of the name of the year was the same. The same thing. Sir, do you know who we are? Prime Minister का बेटे हो तो भी, I will not accept your paper. Sir, आपको हमारा नाम और roll number पता है? नहीं। नहीं पता है भाग। Oh, okay. Oh jeez. Oh, copyrighted music. Good lord. Hey. I will say there's a lot of um music in this video. Whoa! <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, that's it's supposed to be a comedy. Kind of got a little sad there. Done. What? <laughs> there it is. That's the most poster. Have you seen your father? Life is a race. If you don't run fast, you'll be like a broken anda. Or the cuckoo bird. Okay, that was, uh, that was quite interesting. Let's go over the trailer. Okay. So, um, I don't know what class he's teaching, but if you don't fast enough, someone will overtake you. Hmm, I mean, that saying is true. Basically, if you don't work hard, someone is going to work harder than you and potentially take that position that you're trying to work for from you. Um, no, I mean, there's always, there's, well, I, I don't want to say always, but there are people out there, obviously, who are going to be skilled at something, and regardless of how hard you work, they're, they're just naturally better at it, <laughs> whether it just comes to them naturally on top of working hard. And there are some very rare few people who are probably just naturally gifted that doesn't require any work and somehow they just know it. And apparently that's that dude's father, supposedly. We all went to college to get degrees. If you don't, if you don't get a degree, you won't get a job. Not true nowadays. The weirdest thing, at least in America, as far as I can tell, a lot of the millionaires and billionaires 
never went to college as far as I know. Like Bill Gates, I believe he uh Steve Jobs maybe, Jeff Bezos and I don't know. I don't know who else. I I don't think they went to college. I I'm pretty sure of that. It's kind of it's very odd that there are I think there are more millionaires, billionaires higher up there that have never went to college than um than did but mind you going to college for the right uh job i mean certain jobs you obviously need college for and college can help you get a job but it seems to be getting less and less true because college degrees are just being not to say they're being handed out but everyone's pursuing it so it's no longer the exception of the rule but the the rule and just merely displaying that you have a college degree it's not just going to automatically get you into the job anymore except for certain jobs obviously if you won't get a job without a job you won't get married wow i mean okay this is an indian film is that true over there though i i do i do wonder that i am curious is that true that you know if you don't get a college degree you won't get a job i'm sure it's not quite true true but i'm wondering if there's just college degree is, is valued a lot more over there and people are actually looking out for that more so than over here you don't get married a bank won't give you a credit card ah uh, no not necessarily over here over here anyway hong kong university the alumni association are they in hong kong did i did i miss that part unless it's just a random uh a random credit card that they put up there uh, engineering award. Those are tough. But he didn't come here for a college degree. He came just to learn. Well, you know, that's the good thing about learning is also a college degree, you know? That is super. <laughs> like, is he out in public, like in a public park, taking a bath? Ranchada, ranchadas Samaldas Chanchad. Did I say that right? Ranchadas Samaldas Chanchad. And how well did I even say it? It's probably utter trash, but still. I'm proud I could at least pronounce some of it. There are some that are just really crazy out there, at least for me. And he's a little bit crazy. I mean, hey look man, that guy's got no shame. He's just, he doesn't care. And he's being smart about his money, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you have to pay for water or anything, uh, but yeah. Just like his crazy name, he was just as crazy. Uh -huh. Seems to be, he, uh, what is it? Is it a sociopath, I believe, where he just doesn't care what anyone else thinks and he does what he, kind of does what he wants? It seems like it. That's the way he seems to be acting. Sir, do you have any idea who we are? I don't care if you're the prime minister's son. I will not accept your paper. Sir, do you know any of our names or roll numbers? That dude's a genius. <laughs> oh my god, hold on, we gotta play that scene again. That's that was great. I'm a roll number for that. That was great. That was fantastic. So there are a lot of songs in this in this uh in this video. There are a lot of songs. I mean, um, in America, I think I've said this before, but I'll say it again. I think there there are certain movies that are they're musicals, basically. It's what it's called. Basically, it's just you, you, I don't know what other category there. And I know they're musical dramas, I guess. But there's just a lot of music that just cuts in where they start dancing. Everyone starts dancing. I, um, I can't remember. Grease, I think, being one of the most famous musicals in America. But I do like the way they do it over here. I do like the musicals, don't get me wrong. It's, it's it's really just, it's crazy and just like, that doesn't happen in real life, obviously. You know, you, you don't just walking down the street all of a sudden, someone just starts kicking the music all of a sudden, you're like, <laughs> start doing like that too. You, know? you just don't do that. It's like, what's going on? I can't control my body, you know? <laughs> yeah. Why am I snapping my fingers? But it's really cool. I love the colors. That is so exciting. I like how these people are just like, yeah, nothing's going on. Wait, let's let's play this part. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Those guys in this corner right here, just, you know, everyday thing. They're not, they're not even looking at the uh, the group, the crowd. 
they are, though, but them, nah, you know, it's, that happens every day, almost every hour, it's like, this is the norm, if you're not doing it, you're weird, I don't know, just, they just seem to be, you know, I guess they're ordering, that's the reason why. It is so cool to, I don't know, I haven't seen very many musicals, and the musicals that I've seen are pretty kind of interesting, I mean, they're, they're enjoyable, I will say, enjoyable, although, uh, I can't remember the one with the sharks and the, uh, the other group and they they were fighting they they tied their hands together they tied their hands together and they had the knife in the other hand and they start dancing to a fight which is kind of it's just i don't know that that was a little bit much for me it's like you don't turn a fight scene to a musical i guess i don't know that's just me though dude i don't know I have, there's not very many there might be a lot of American musicals, but it doesn't seem to be too mainstream. And it seems like in India, it is quite the mainstream thing, which is really cool. I mean, uh, I guess if it's the norm, it's not in the it's not the exception. While to me, this is kind of the exception because again, there's not very many out there. Well, at least as far as that I'm seeing, I'm not really looking for it. But it's just that the main things that you see out there are like very action movie or drama movies or horror movies actually mostly action now and some comedies barely any martial arts film barely any drama and all that those don't tend to be out in the big screen because not a lot of people like them there's that doesn't mean they're not good it's just that not many people like drama a lot more people like action you know i guess the people who go out and watch movies tend to like action movies more or or exciting movies i suppose that's my opinion. That's not the truth. That's not that is not backed by facts at all or statistics. <laughs> is she drunk, or does she really like him? And I, I, I like, I like, I like the way she says. I think if we kiss, our nose will get in the way. You know, I thought about that a long time ago when I was, I was like, man, when you kiss, you you, know, you bump the nose. <laughs> you have to literally smash it in. <laughs> And I guess he seems like very much a child at uh, a child at heart, because we can see him obviously avoiding her, and that's really funny. So that's him dancing with her, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of weird. Why did he? Why did he seem to have rejected her? Or 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 am I just? I'm not seeing that correctly. I need to get a zoom in on her face real quick. Wait. Yeah, that's her. This weird thing, she has a nose ring at this point, and I'm trying to look to see if she has a nose ring here. I don't know. She probably she's just not wearing it at that point. <clears throat> One day I'll be gone, Priya. So I'm assuming this is him talking. So did he pass away or something oh, yeah that's her nose ring that's how I identify that's how I can identify characters I'm not too used to um, certain faces yet I'm trying to get used to that so it's 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 kind of weird so did he pass away it's kind of I mean don't get me wrong there are going to be sad moments in comedy movies but Let's con just let's continue on. Let's see what happens later on in this trailer. Why did he need to find a third, though? I don't understand that. So, they were trying to get into the college. I, I assume they got into college because he freaking flipped the papers. They, they lost the third, and they're trying to find a third, but why? Like, did he need three people? For whatever reason? Oh, I like his saying here. <laughs> you have to tell your heart. No matter how big the problem, you have to tell your heart. It's no big deal, buddy. It's no big deal. Everything will be all right. It's all is well. It's like, and the problem will be solved. It's like, no, but you'll get the courage to face it. Okay, okay, good. Uh, you know, there are a lot of people out there who say say things that says, oh, it'll all work out in the end. It's like, no, if you don't do anything about it, it won't necessarily more chances that it will fail than it then they succeed in is going to be greater because you know you doing nothing generally works out for the worst 
depending on the situation, obviously. <clears throat> and the problem will be solved. And he says, uh, no, but you'll gain the courage to face it. So at least he spoke the truth. Like, you know, you have to tell yourself it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. So you can muster up the courage and the calmness to handle the situation without panicking. And that's a lot of that's a lot of people that fit in that scooter. That was weird. I got the idea of uh, what's that one American movie where my uncle Vince or something like that where they. <laughs> well, let me put my phone on silent there. So uh, my uncle Vince, I believe that's what the title of the um, the film was called, or my vacation at Vinny or something like that. Basically, the dude died, and they had to take him. They had to take the dude with them, his uncle with them, to pre and pretend like he's alive. And this is this scene reminds me. I don't know if that dude's fine or not. Something look clearly looks like is wrong with him. And he he's strapped to that guy. I don't know why a seatbelt or because they need to rush him to a hospital or something. I don't know. It looks like the hospital. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, there, there we go. Sorry, it looked like it. It looked like I think I must have mis, uh, misread that. What was I supposed to miss? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I, 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 uh, for some odd reason, two different scenes, and I didn't connect them. Whenever I first saw it, I was, I was confused. What do you mean by mail him in here? That's actually hilarious. Now that I, I read that part, it's like, what am I supposed to do? mail him in here? It's like, what do you mean? What's going on? Got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Air melon <in> there <laughs> to the hospital. Uh, yes, the what is going on here? Let me let me go forward a little bit if there's even a little bit more forward. No, there's not. So what is going on here? Everyone just getting it looks like um in college there's the you know fraternities and I guess they do some kind of hazing to the new people to see if they make the cut or whatever and this this is what it looks like I mean they're going to college it looks like a fraternity and all new members generally have to do it, it looks like this guy is checking them out for some weird reason I mean checking them out as in making sure that they're doing what they're supposed to do not like whatever for a reunion reunion right there <laughs> that was one of the posters basically it was them sitting on this thing it looks like they're about to take a poop. And this scene right here reminds me of Mr. Bean because Mr. Bean does that kind of thing with their ears. I don't know why. And that reminds me a little bit of anime because I've never done it myself where you uh, set uh, the can on top of a fire and you just lay in it. I, I get a little bit too worried to get cooked in there. <laughs> <laughs> I think I wonder if they put like a uh, like stones in the bottom or like cement on the bottom or not cement but uh, not not completely covering the bottom but like a cinder block in there that way the, the water can get heated up and that when you touch the bottom you're touching the cinder block as opposed to the freaking can that's on fire well not on fire but like heated up alright so this trailer actually was quite hilarious and very charming, I will say. Speaking a lot of the truth, even though they're saying a lot of, uh, I don't know what you call that thing, um, sayings, I suppose. It's not, it's not the right word. I can't really find the word. Basically, they're saying, like, you know, you tell your heart that everything's going to be all right. You know, obviously, that's not going to do anything. But he's saying that, you know, you don't do that because the problems will be fixed, but you'll do that so that you can calm yourself, that you can fix the problems, which I will give him that. And then him solving the problem with, like, I will not accept your paperwork. Do you know our names? Do you know our numbers? All right. Starts flinging it around. <laughs> genius move. Genius move. But the thing is, though, is that if they pick him, I think, I'm assuming that even if he picks their papers, he can still kick them out after the fact, you know? It's the weird. I'm wondering why he didn't accept their papers. What if they actually make it, make the cut, you know? Why did he, uh, well, I guess, I mean, they're three idiots, I guess. Maybe that's why. Um, I don't, Okay. Before I ramble on, I think I, I think I've spoken enough. Um, so three idiots. If this was coming out in theaters over here, even though it's released eleven years ago, I can't do subtitles. 
Again, too hard to watch the movie and read the subtitles in the theaters. If it was dubbed, is this something I'd watch? I'd probably give this a about a 2.5. Um, even though this is something I could kind of turn my brain off and just enjoy the movie, it's not necessarily something I would watch in the theaters. But depending on my mood and if someone invites me, I could actually watch this. Home theater, subbed and dubbed, um, I'd probably give this a 3. Um, it's not going to be up there in the list. It's definitely something I think I could enjoy. It looks kind of funny. It's, obviously, if it's subtitled, I have to pay attention. I kind of like movies where... Um, not necessarily like movies, but like... like I, necessarily like movies that I don't have to pay attention to is what I'm meaning. But there, I know there's going to be a lot of filler scenes or a lot of scenes where they're just talking and there's not really much going on in the scene where I can do something else for a little bit and pay attention with my ears, you know, doing two things at once. You gotta stay staying busy too much, really. But, uh, yeah. So, three, I think, for watching at home. Just because it's, again, it is a lot better. Uh, I can... I tend to rate things a lot higher at home because it's something that I could, like, if I'm in the mood for, I can actually watch it. And this has pretty good comedy and has some decent life lessons. I'm sure there are probably more in there. And maybe the reason why these people kind of gravitate towards him because they seem to be very conservative while he seems to be wild and crazy. And they're trying to learn to let go a little bit in their life. All right, what about you guys? What would you rate this? Would you give this a 5, a must-watch, a 4, will watch, a 3, a may-watch, a 2, a man watch or a 1, won't watch? Let me know in the comments below and explain your reasoning why. Uh, if you like my content, please consider subscribing. Thumbs up, thumbs down, down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next vid.